Hey everyone, I am talking about coconut milk today. Do you guys drink coconut milk? What do you think? Um, we are in the almond milk, coconut milk, plant-based milk kind of family. And um, since now having a baby, I have started to take a little bit of a closer look at what actually is in the milks that we're drinking. And today I wanted to do a little bit of a taste comparison, price comparison, and nutrient comparison with some different kinds of coconut milk. Today I'm gonna to be comparing three different kinds of coconut milk. One is homemade from shreds, one is from a carton, and one is from a can. And I have used recipes that I found online, and I'll link those recipes down below um, so that you guys can make them if, you, if you're interested. Um, but I've used those recipes to kind of make what I feel like might be kind of similar products. And we're gonna take a look at how much they cost, what the ingredients are, and how they taste. So if you are interested in seeing the coconut milk comparison, just keep watching. So the first coconut milk option that I found was a carton of coconut milk. And this is by the So Delicious brand. And I chose this coconut milk because I felt like it had kind of like the cleanest ingredient. Um, you're gonna find a lot of additives in store-bought coconut milk. And this particular milk I felt like had the least. It was available at, in the refrigerated section in a half gallon and it was also available um, on the shelf. And this is 32 ounces. So this particular container has four cups in it and um, the ingredients, well, there's a lot of ingredients actually. So I'm gonna see if I can put up a list of the ingredients for you. Let's go over some of the facts about this coconut milk. So, like I said, there's four cups in this container and each cup is 45 calories and 4.5 grams of fat. So, personally, I'm looking for a high calorie, high fat beverage to feed my 14 month old daughter, um, but not everyone's looking for that kind of thing. So this is actually the lowest calorie, lowest fat option out of the three options that I have. And um, it does have added vitamins in it, which could be a good thing for some people and could be a negative thing for some people. Um, but it is unsweetened, which is really good, and it's organic, which is also good. So the price on this is $2.69, and that averages to about 67 cents per cup, since there are four cups in here. And um, what I like about this, or what's convenient about it anyway, is that it lasts for about seven days in the refrigerator. And then also you can keep it on your shelf and um, until you open it, it's good there for quite a while. The next coconut milk that was easy to find was one in a can. So this is the 365 brand, um, Whole Foods brand organic coconut milk. And a lot of grocery stores carry their own store brand of coconut milk. There's also quite a few different varieties. Um, but in my local grocery stores, there are very few brands that don't contain additives. And what I mean by additives is something other than coconut and water. So this one has organic coconut, purified water, and organic guar gum. And guar gum is a natural product, but some people do actually have sensitivity to it. Um, so if you have digestive problems, sometimes guar gum can affect you negatively. Um, I know that Trader Joe's has a light coconut milk that I believe is just coconut and water. Um, which I think would be better, but this is what I could find. One thing about canned products in general is that a lot of times the cans are lined with BPA, and BPA is, has been under investigation for a long time as a possible carcinogen, so that's something that my family tries to stay away from. Um, I wasn't able to find any coconut milks in cans that say BPA free, but I have found other products that are in BPA free cans. Um, but this 
particular can is not BPA free, um, or it's not labeled as BPA free anyway, um, which is a negative thing about this. In the can, there's about one and a half cups of coconut milk, and it's separated into kind of the coconut cream on top and the coconut water kind of on the bottom. And so you do have to mix it. It doesn't have as many ingredients as the carton, which I think is good. Um, it's not stabilized, like mixed together, um, which I, I kind of like that. In the full can, there are 48 grams of fat and 480 calories. So that's quite a bit of fat and calories. And um, the ratio that I use on this is approximately one to one. So one cup coconut milk to one cup uh, purified water. And um, that's how I diluted it basically and made the coconut milk to drink. This can was $1.99 which makes it 66 cents a cup to drink this kind of coconut milk. The next coconut milk that I'll be comparing is one that I made from Organic Coconut Flake. This is unsweetened organic coconut flake I purchased at Trader Joe's. The bag is $1.99 and the ratio that I use to make the coconut milk is almost a cup, more like three quarters of a cup to a cup of coconut flake to one cup of warm purified water. I will show you right now how I made it. Pour two cups of hot water and almost a cup of shredded coconut into the blender. Blend on high for about a minute, pour through a nut milk bag and you get two cups of fresh coconut milk. So this bag has almost two cups in it and what I like about this is that the only ingredient is coconut. So I don't know if you can see there, it just says organic coconut. So that's great, no stabilizers, um, no additives, no sugar. For $1.99 and two cups, this is gonna be our cheapest coconut milk option. It's 49 cents a cup. And this bag has the highest amount of fat and calories. Now I'm gonna give you the information that is listed on the bag but I'm not sure that you're getting all the fat and calories since we are blending and removing some of the coconut. And I'm not sure if some of that coconut does retain some fat and calories in it. So according to the bag, for a quarter cup of shredded coconut, it's 20 grams of fat and 200 calories. And that means that if we're making a full cup, that's 800 calories and 80 grams of fat, which is a lot of fat and calories. Um, like I said, some might be left over in the coconut that wasn't blended into the milk, but this is our highest calorie, highest fat by far um, from all the coconut milk options. All right, it's time for the taste test. I made these coconut milks and I put them in unmarked jars, but I did put them in the refrigerator a while ago and I do not remember which is which, so I'm going to taste them and let you know what I think. All right, jar number one. Well, I can see that the color is very um, uniform. It's just white all the way down. It is very white and there's no separation. It looks pretty thin. Let's give it a taste. Tastes good. Very, very neutral. Like, it doesn't taste like coconut at all. It would be a good milk substitute probably though for someone that was looking for something that tasted like milk. Um, meh, it's just okay. It has almost like a little bit of a graininess to it also. Um, all right, number two. This has a little bit of separation and I can see coconut oil floating on the top. Um, also has a little bit of a gray color to it, which is not super appetizing, but let's try it out. It's good, it tastes like coconut. This has a much more like coconutty taste and a fattier taste to it, definitely. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the last one too. All right, and the last one is this one. This one has a bit of separation also, so I'm gonna stir it. It is definitely whiter in color. 
don't see any coconut oil floating on top. And this one is good. This one tastes a lot like coconut also. It's a little thinner than the last one, but it's really good. I think this is the winner for taste. So let's see which one this is. Oh, this is the one made from coconut shreds. So this is actually our cheapest option and best taste. Um, what I also like about this is it only is one ingredient. I guess the con for this is that it does take time and it lasts only like three to five days in the fridge. This is a clear winner for taste. This was number two, and this one was our canned coconut, and I had a feeling it was, because it was kind of weird in color. Um, what I liked about this one, it was incredibly easy to make. You just open the can and mix it with water, but it is our second most expensive option. Um, I think it was second best for taste, but because of the possible BPA in the can and the guar gum, it makes me not so sure about it. So number one had to be the box of the So Delicious, this one. And um, this really didn't taste like coconut, which is kind of creepy. Plus it had a lot of ingredients in it and it was by far the most expensive option. So the box was the last place, I would say the can, which was this one in second place and the shreds for sure were the first um, place winner for the coconut milk taste test. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!